I've tried, I've cursed, I've trashed every brush on the market. I have yet to find a grill brush that doesn't completely suck in one or more ways. The biggest issue is safety. Most everyday brush designs utilize short bristles jammed into cheap plastic like hair plugs, except there's no root to hold it in, so they wiggle out and your brush begins balding. Bristles then get stuck on your grill by the sticky grime they were supposed to clean off and end up in your burger and onto your stomach where a surgeon will scope it out so you don't get stopped on your next airport body scan. Most grill brushes though fail at a much more basic level. Even the expensive ones just don't get the job done, forcing the use of multiple brush styles to achieve some definition of clean. The other major issue, especially with the cheap stuff, is just that, cheap. Sure, it only costs five bucks, but for what? A product that sort of works and doesn't have a replaceable head as if it was not gonna wear out? I mean, unless we're using diamond-tipped carbon fiber bristles, every brush head is gonna wear out and end up in a landfill, even ours, eventually. So is it really too much to ask for a brush that's built to last, designed to really clean your grill and not be an unnecessary hazard to your health or the environment? After a year of R&D, countless prototypes, and tons of testing, the Grillinator brush is here. We start with a guaranteed for life, reinforced stainless steel shaft and contoured rubberized grip for control. Taking a look at the brush head, you'll notice we utilize bristles secured by tightly bound metal spindles. Of course, by itself, this isn't anything new, but compared to the hair plug style, it dramatically reduces the risk of bristle balding. What does make the Grillinator brush head unique though is the superior patents pending design. Our front and back spindles have long bristles to get and clean all the way down and in between the bars of your grilling grate. In the opposite direction is an extremely dense overlapping area of short bristles designed to annihilate anything left on top of your grate. Nothing lasts forever, but because we pack three to four times the number of bristles in and there's no balding in our family history, Grillinator brush heads will last a very long time, and replacement cost would be less than what you'd pay for a semi-decent disposable brush. On another note, and I could be a bit biased and cheesy, but as I'm holding this thing, I just feel more manly, like I'm holding a samurai sword or something. So why are we here? As you can see, our design is finalized. Multiple patents pending, tooling is done, molds are poured, what you see here is production ready. But getting here has been far more expensive than originally projected and quoted. Currently, we can only manage a minimal manufacturing run, which would raise the cost per unit much more than we'd like. Speaking of cost, I went to my local big box store the other day and discovered it would take four disposable brushes at a combined cost of $30 to achieve the same cleaning power as one Grillinator brush. Back our campaign with just $35, and you'll not only look cool as one of the first people in the world with a grill brush that doesn't completely suck, but you'll also get your first replacement head free and 50% off replacement heads for life. Bottom line, the Grillinator brush cleans better, faster, safer, and our brush heads will outlast anything on the market, easily delivering the best value for your money and the environment. With your help in supporting our Kickstarter campaign, we can make it available to the masses.